Okay, dokey. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Okay, so I think I can actually squeeze in another um, little demo before Christmas. And as I said in my last message, I thought we'd do something with an angel theme. And I kind of came up with this little thing last night. I was trying to think, what can I do that's quick and easy, but looks really complicated? <laughs> then again, this might not look complicated to you. So this is a slide mount ornament that you can hang on your tree. So I'll see if I can bring it up close. It's double sided and I just used um, the slide mounts and put little angel photo images inside and then just sort of decorated with a couple of rhinestones and a little bit of glitter glue. So I will do the demo on this and it's actually really easy to do. And again, these would make really nice little stocking fills or little Christmas gifts. So, the other thing I wanted to share with you was my friend Cynthia is just incredibly creative and I find her very inspiring. <laughs> and she gave me this for Christmas. And I just thought it was just the coolest thing and I just love angels. So, this is an altered Altoid tin. So, you know the mint tin, so there you go, there's the back. So, she's kept that and I love that you keep the back plain and she's like collaged an angel image on the front and hung some beads at the bottom and put some gold ribbon but I didn't realize this Cynthia if you're watching this I didn't realize that you could actually open this tin and there was like a tree inside ha ah, inside tea <laughs> so I've got tazo tea raspberry tea ginger tea which is really good for you know drinking when you've like eaten half a turkey on Christmas day and a whole Christmas pudding ginger tea is really good to help you digest all that lovely food oh there's another one under here too oh, and another raspberry one so I'm going to keep them in there for now though because it's like a little treasure box <laughs> so thank you Cynthia I just absolutely love my Altoid tin and I've actually got it hanging on the tree well I will do when I get off here so okay <laughs> Well, it's so cold here. Um, we're not used to this in Washington State. It's um, in Sammamish today. I believe it's something like 20 or 25 or Fahrenheit, whatever. But overnight, we've been getting to single digits. And, um, you know, when I lived in Minnesota, I was used to all that. But here, no. <laughs> I've been here for 10 years now. And uh, we're used to the winters being kind of like... I guess like England, really. You know, you, you don't normally get it really so bitterly cold that it's, I think in Celsius it's been around, you know, minus 10, 11 degrees. And um, unfortunately our little house here is um, not the best insulated house. So downstairs here is like an ice cave. Upstairs, toasty warm. So we practically live upstairs in the winter time, especially when it's cold like this. I don't know if you can see, we have snow. <laughs> and we're expecting about another six inches tonight. So Joel and I are going to pop out, get some more logs and things before the snow starts falling tonight. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there so I can get on with the demo. And I uh, hope you're all keeping warm and keeping well. And I will be right back. Okay. Bye. Okay chaps, so I've had an interesting morning. <laughs> I attempted to do the slide mount demo for you and my hands are so cold that I just couldn't get, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I'll explain, we've had some bitterly cold weather here and we're expecting a big winter storm today. And um, you know, just when you know and the tips of your fingers are cold and you can't do anything, well anyway. So I've changed the demo to, it's going to be really simple, I'm sorry, but I think it's really sweet and it's going to be an angel magnet. And what you'll need for this project is a 2 by 2 inch little ceramic tile from any DIY store. Um, a 2 well, slightly smaller than the tile image, you know, maybe 1 and 3 quarters or even just enough to get to the edge of your tile and I just um, I have all these pictures of angels and I printed them off and they're black and white and I just love those and then just you know I thought I'd choose a little flower to put on there and a little word and um, well we'll see where it goes because I haven't done it yet <laughs> so we'll play together 
Okay, so to start with, I'm going to use my gloss medium and varnish because it's non-yellowing and it's um, it just it's it's a great thing to use. It's a great adhesive, and you can use it on tiles. And I do know that because I've been using it. So with my little brush here, I mean, you probably won't see me doing it, but I'm going to coat the tile with the gloss medium. And I think you can use gel medium too for this. I use the gloss medium because it's a little, um, it's, it's more fluid and I feel I have a little more, I don't know, I just really like it. Okay, and once you have that done, you're going to set your image down on your tile. It, see what I mean? It's so easy. You could even just leave it like that if you wanted to. And rub over the image so you don't have any air bubbles. You could also use a brayer to do this as well, but it's such a small surface. And once you whoops, once you do this, your image is pretty much stuck down, and it's not going anywhere. Okay. So you have your image stuck down on your tile. The next thing I'm going to do is put another layer of the gloss medium and varnish across the top. This seals everything in, and it gives it a nice, glossy, protective coating. My kitty wants to come up on my knee. I'm sorry, puss. You can in about five minutes. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Let's do some at the edge there. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I should have brought my tweezers down, but I'm going to pick up my little flower and I think I'm just going to turn this and stick my little dried flower here. And then put a little bit of gloss medium on top of the flower. And that helps to protect and seal the flower as well. And then when everything's dry, you can do a final coat of the varnish. So, I'm sorry, I'm in front of my bright window here, so you might not see it. So there's the flower on the tile. The next thing I'm going to do is adhere my angel word. So I just printed out angel. And just to make sure that there is some thing for it to adhere to, a little more gloss medium there. Okay. Just press that in there like that. And you know what? I can just go over that too. Okay. And I know this is just such an impromptu kind of a quick demo, but I am... Um, We've been trying to get prepared for this storm coming and I just haven't had a chance to think, but I really wanted to do you a, a little demo before Christmas. <laughs> okay, so there she is. And then what you could do, I can't do it now because I've got gloss medium on it, but you could get your Krylon gold leaf pen and go around the edges. You could... Um, you know, you could even make your image bigger so you could collage it over the edges, but to be honest with you, it really doesn't need it. And, you know, sometimes simplicity is the way to go. And if you need to make a batch, because these are great gifts. You, you, you saw how quick that was. That was so quick. And it maybe takes about half an hour to an hour to dry. And, you know, you could even embellish, you know, your little magnet more with, you know what, let's stick a rhinestone on. Let's see what it look like. And I think, you know what... We'll put a, let's just do a plain crystal rhinestone down in the corner here. Just for a little bit of sparkle. Okay, well I really hope that was alright for you. Oh, what I'll do when it's dry is I'll turn the tile over, stick a magnet on there with some super strong glue, and then it's ready to give us a gift. Okay, I'm sorry, I hope that was okay for you, and I will have some more new fun demos in the new year, so happy holidays, and um, have a safe and wonderful time, and uh, stay warm if you're in an area like we are where it's just getting so cold, and in fact, let me show you, let's see, let me take this off. Okay, I'm going to do a little video of the snow outside, because it's really pretty. Okay, everybody... Bye for now. See you in the new year. Okay, bye-bye.